Hello, this is Hector G for UrbanLime.com and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Z-Wave Plus Cubino Flush RGBW Dimmer. The Cubino Flush RGB Dimmer is designed to control your RGB or RGBW LED strips in order to create countless color options. The device works using Z-Wave technology and due to its small footprint can be installed virtually anywhere. A Z-Wave gateway hub will be required for your setup and is sold separately. If you haven't purchased a hub and you plan on using the Cubino Flush RGBW, make sure to read the hub's documentation as it may not be supported by all hubs. Let's go over some of the features. The switch is a signal repeater so it will improve your Z-Wave mesh network overall. The minimum and maximum dimming levels can be set via parameters. You can also customize the ramp rate. This allows you to change how quickly the lights turn on or off. Four push buttons are also available that allow the to control brightness, color, allows you to turn on or off light lighting effects, and finally the last one allows you to turn off the white output on its own. The dimmer switch saves and restores the last status on a power failure. Extra parameters also allow you to put a timer in the event that you want to automatically turn the lights on or off after a set time. If you would like to turn the device on or off at a specific time, you can do so with a scene on your hub. As of this review, the Vera hub does not support the device officially and the only plugin available is not very stable. OpenHab also allows you to install the device, however we were not able to operate it successfully even using the latest snapshot release. The installation of the device is extremely simple. On the strip, identify the red, green, blue, and white cables and insert them into the labeled slots. Also, insert the positive and negative leads of your power supply into the unit. Note this will not work with 120 volts AC but instead works with 12 volts or 24 volts DC. The white antenna should also be extended for best performance. You can control the Flush RGBW either remotely through your hub's graphical interface, a phone app, or through the wall switches if wired directly to one. Today we're going to be pairing it with the SmartThings hub. We begin by visiting thesmartesthouse.com. The website has the links to the device handler that we will need in order to make it work. The link has been placed in the description below. On the lower right, they have a link that will take you to the device handler. Once you arrive to the page, go ahead and select all the text, copy the text, and put it in your computer's clipboard. Now you'll need to log into your SmartThings account, and from the menu above, select My Device Handlers. Click on the green button on the top right that says Create New Device Handler. You will now have a few tabs to choose from, so let's select the one that says From Code. Now paste the code in your clipboard and select create button on the lower left. On the next page select save, then publish, and finally for me. Your device handler is now ready for use. You should see a message on the top left that, that states created smart device followed by another one that says device type published successfully. Now let's select the SmartThings app on your phone and add a thing. Your Cubino RGB dimmer should pop up as shown here. Click OK once you get the window to confirm paired devices. You're now ready to use your device. Let's take a look at the actual functionality. We have set it up with a small RGB strip light just for a quick demo. You can see here that we can pick each color individually and turn each one on and off independently as it and it functions flawlessly. We can also dim and brighten each color individually. This allows you to make your own magical colors rather than selecting from a few presets. The main light bulb icon in the middle of the screen can be used to turn colors on or off all at once. The color that will be used when turning the light bulb on from off will be determined by the last color you had before you turned it off. The color wheel on the far right is useful for selecting a unique color and brightness.
Overall, we're very pleased with the product and the response with the SmartThings Hub. It's important to note that this device will only work with standard RGB strips and not addressable strips. In short, this means that all your LEDs will be one color at any given time. You'll not be able to make the first five LEDs one color and the next five co a different color, for instance. The device can be connected to a wall switch, which will allow you to turn it on or off from there as well. Thanks for watching the review. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.